like this can lead to some anxiety and health concerns for those returning to work after weeks of working from home or being laid off. Our senior health correspondent Monica Robbins has tips on how to make a smooth and healthy transition back. Evan Wilkerson's commute to work looks a little different these days. Once I get to the office, I put on my mask as I walk into the building. He immediately takes his temperature, stays six feet from his nearest co-worker, and uses hand sanitizer between frequent hand washing. Experts say virtual meetings should continue as people are phased back into work. And while this new normal can be hard to grasp, it's important not to let your guard down. Handshakes, uh, things that we usually do uh, to show physical support for one another uh, will also not be allowable. So we'll have to find new ways to connect uh, in this new work environment. The fear of infection combined with a lack of personal contact can be extremely stressful, so it's important to take care of both physical and mental health. As they're washing their hands, take some good big abdominal deep breaths. Say some positive calming self-statements. Little things like that can go a long way to reducing stress. While many of us were socially isolated, we may have also felt lonely. The two are not the same. Loneliness is how you perceive your connectedness to others. Going back to the office may help, but Cleveland Clinic experts suggest other things too, such as shutting down from social media and texting and actually calling or meeting safely with your friends. Walk down the hall to talk to a coworker instead of emailing. And practice random acts of kindness. It can do wonders to improve your mood. In addition to stress relief, being ready to fight off serious illness is critical. That means plenty of exercise, at least seven hours of sleep a night and a healthy diet. But it also means finding ways to calm fears and find a sense of community. What we need to do now is to extend that culture of caring and of safety beyond our immediate family and friend circle into the workplace circle because our colleagues are ultimately our family as well. Monica Robbins, 3 News.